I keep my heels off, my high heels for as long as possible. In fact, these, I have these shoes. I'm not going to show the brand, but I have these shoes on. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, high heels, check. Okay, and then let's go. And I love that last week you kind of spoke out that on TikTok saying that, you know, yes, I mess up. Sometimes I'm not doing good. Do you read yeah. comments? Do you read like people's tweets about you, things like that? Or did you stop doing um, long time? I don't, I don't read a lot of comments. I read a little bit, but I don't really necessarily go deep. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, every host messes up. It's just normal. It's live TV. If it wasn't live, there would be no mess ups. But even on America's Next Top Model, I would mess up and tell my editors, leave it in. Um, that's what makes like things human and makes things like alive. Um, and if I didn't want to mess up, if I wanted it to be perfect, I know how to do that. Right. There's, there's a very clear way as a host that you just read the words and you're perfect and you know exactly how to do that. But when you relax and you keep it real, the mess ups happen and the producer in me knows that even though somebody might be like, oh my God, you're messing up. It's, it's live and it's real and it's better than being like a doll. Like, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, you're like, I know how to do this. I've been doing this, I long this for 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. I love that. I love to kind of, but kind of like break that wall down and show people like, it's fine. Yeah. It's like, fine. yeah. Like, I know how to read a prompter perfectly, but I also skip around prompter to make it as real as possible, knowing that when you skip around prompter, you're going to mess up. Yeah. And it's just, just normal and it keeps it real. How has <laughs> yeah. it been for you? Week three, you're three weeks in. How's it been going? Oh, I feel so much more comfortable. Like I felt super comfortable today. I was like, wait, am I giving enough energy? I felt, I mean, I felt that comfortable. Like I was just chilling in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting into my bones. Um, so no, I feel, I feel really good. Yeah. Do you, how do you get hyped up before going, before stepping out onto the ballroom with the shovel? <laughs> well, you know what? I started playing music in my dressing room, kind of loud. I hope I'm not making my neighbors go like, can you turn the music on? So um, I've just been blasting my music and then um, I keep my heels off, my high heels for as long as possible. In fact, these I have these shoes. I'm not going to show the brand, but I have these shoes on. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, high heels, check. Okay, and then let's go. How does this hosting job compare to others? Is it tougher or easier? Oh my God, so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is so much easier. Um, you know, I remember when I was doing my talk show, I had to, you know, be the executive producer and interview people. And it just was all encompassing for me. It was, you know, sometimes people giving you their most deep, like painful stories. And then I'd have to go to dinner with friends and my friends are laughing and I'd want to talk about something heavy. And they're like, girl, I had a heavy day at work. I don't want to talk about that. You know, so I'd bring that home. Yeah. So this is joy and light and, and happiness. And so it's a lot, a lot easier. Now, in terms of like the actual like traffic copying, there's a lot. Um, there's a lot of like from the technical side of hosting, like I have to cue myself, meaning the director doesn't say action, walk in. I have to watch the dance. Okay, then I think it's over, then I have to come in and then I have to wait for it. So there's a lot of like cueing yourself mm -hmm. that I'm not used to. Um, so that's a little bit more difficult, but the love and spirit of the room, even when people are going home, it's still so beautiful. How has it been forming a relationship with the judges? Because I know you guys kind of get yeah. to interact a lot, a lot. Yeah, I, you know what? Sadly, I can't interact with them as much as I would like mm -hmm. um, because of the social distancing. So I thought we were going to be like, you know, this close and tight knit group, but it's like this. Oh my God, Carrie Ann, you look amazing tonight, Tyra. Okay, let's text. You know, so it's more texting and phone, but it, I can't really have a lot of in person closeness with them, and it sucks because I. I want it to be like, okay, Bruno, let's go get some coffee after yeah. and like hang. And I can't do that, you know? So hopefully in the future, post pandemic, we'll be able to truly bond and not just do it with our thumbs on, you know, texting and stuff.